Welcome, the continuation of the question 11. Today is 11b. Two functions, f and g, are on the set of real numbers given by or defined by this and this. We are to find the domain of f and then find the composite uh, function of or g of what f. To find the domain, let's begin with the, the first one. So this function, which is f of x, now equals to the square root of 16 minus x square over x square plus what? 4. This function is what? Let's say is defined. This is defined when we have the 16 minus x square divided by x squared plus 4 greater or equals what? 0. This is the only way we can say it's defined. Why? We are dealing with square root. So we don't need a negative value under the square root. So if everything under the square root is equals to 0, you know, root of 0 is 0, is real. Then we have powers, uh, numbers greater than 0. All values there are more than 0 will make this to be what? Defined. All right. We are looking for the domain. Those values that will make this be defined. All right. So now if you look at it, it's a fraction. So we need to look at it both numerator and what? Denominator. And also, we can also see that the x squared plus 4 cannot be 0. Even though we are saying that the whole of this can be 0. But if the denominator is 0, it becomes undefined not defined. So this is beta or equal to zero and this must not be what? Equal to zero. Then let's look at it up and down. Looking at the denominator, what values are defined in this case? Every value that I pick above zero, not zero, above zero will be defined. So I can say that uh, x squared plus four greater than what? Zero is also defined for all real values of what? x. Every number I pick, apart from 0, that is positive, will make the down to be defined. It will never give you negative. Here we are only looking for values that will give us negative. So we need the ones that will give us all the positive ring. So now our conditions now depend on the numerator. So now it means we need the numerator to be able to take them itself away from negative values. So this will imply that if I am going to do that, I should pick 16 minus x squared should be greater or equals what? Zero. It can be zero. If it is zero, the whole expression becomes zero. The root of zero will still give you what? Zero. Real number. Defined. So we need to solve this. To find the values of this that will make the numerator to be in the range of zero upward. All right. So what do we do? We can check and see if I transpose this up. This will mean that x squared. This is coming there. So it means 16 is greater than or equals to x squared. That simply means x squared is less or equals to what? 16. And finding the square root of both sides will mean that as we be having negative 4 and that of what? Uh, the values are looking for negative 4 and positive 4. So this will further imply that negative 4 less or equals to x less or equals to what? 4. From here, the x values is going to be negative 4. So if I put negative 4 here, square will give me 0. If I put uh, after negative 4, I still go to negative 3. From there, I go to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If the number here is becoming 5, 5 squared, 25, 16 minus 25, negative 9. The negative is what we are avoiding. So we can say that, therefore, that is Roman number 1, right? The domain... Of what? X, you know, domain of F is going to be 
let's see let me cap it this way negative 4 comma 4 which means all values from all real values from negative 4 to 4 we are closing it this is close here and close here so this is the domain these are the values that make this function to be what defined any other values make it what undefined so there are two ways of representing it representing the domain itself inclusive that is negative four for inclusive or you can also find a way by which you eliminate the domain and talk about the other values i don't know how i put it uh value from negative four to four uh except with exception that the, those values that are outside this are uh, exception that make this undefined is also one way if you check my playlist I dealt with the two aspects of that representation on what um, functions and relation and uh, YouTube go there and check it out so we are done with the first aspect of it the second aspect is a composite function of G of F function which is the same as G uh, of F of X that is whatever I see where well, this is G of X Whenever I see the x, as I'm seeing here, all the x will be transformed to f of x. That's the meaning of this. So, what do we do? We can say that from here, if I know this, do I have to indicate that? Okay, let me indicate g of x like this is equals to uh, x squared minus 4, 8 minus x squared. We can see g is pregnant with x. So I'm seeing the x values in here. So now g is now pregnant with f of x. So g with f of x will now be equals to the f of x squared. No, whatever is here, the pregnancy is squared. So if I have f of x, it will be squared minus 4 divided by 8 minus the square of what I'm having as the input, which is f of x, or what? Square. So now we need to deal with what this square is, then we fix it in and see how the expansions will go. So right from here, we can say that the f of x all square is just going to be, if you find, okay, let me read, indicate it here, which is going to be, 16 minus x square x square what is that plus 4 or square if you do that you are left with 16 minus x square alone divided by x square plus what 4 so this value now goes in here to give us uh, 16 x square divided by x squared plus 4 minus 4 from that numerator then we have 8 minus 16 minus x squared divided by x squared plus what 4 this is what we have as what right okay now i'm going to have double fraction so let me pick the numerator If I pick the numerator, I should have over 1 here. So your denominator will have a common LCM of x squared plus 4. When this goes in, what happened? It cancelled. Remaining 1. So I have 16 minus x squared minus. 1 goes here. This will give you the same thing. So 4 will now multiply x squared plus what? Four. I think I can expand this further. Opening this bracket, so 16 minus x squared, negative 4 times x, negative 4x squared, negative 4 times 4, negative 16, still divided by x squared plus what? 4, right? Do we have anything to deal with? This is going to be 16 minus 16. It will cancel. Negative 5 will be the answer I will get here because 1 plus 4, that is minus 1 minus 4, will be 
minus 5. So as we be having minus 5 divided by x squared plus what? 4. This is only for our numerator, right? Let me put this implies there. This is just the numerator expression. So now let's find the denominator expression and combine them together. So we can take the denominator. If we have you are having a book, your board or your body is big, you can pick the two together and work along with it. But I want to conserve space. So I'm having my one, so here also my denominator LCM will be x squared plus 4. So 1 goes there, we give you this value times 8. So 8 into bracket x squared plus 4, then minus. This goes into itself, that will be 1. So minus into bracket 16 minus x squared. Now, if you don't bring the bracket, as you can see, it being alone without bracket. If you bring it that directly like that, the 16 will be affected by the negative, but this will not be affected. So it will make your calculation wrong. So what do we do? Let's expand. This is going to be 8x squared plus 32 minus 16 plus what? x squared. You can see this becomes plus x squared. All divided by x squared plus what? 4. Step by step, right? So I see this as 9x. So I should be having 9x squared, then plus 16, all divided by x squared plus what? 4. This is for the denominator. And this is for the numerator. So your function g of x of uh, g of what? f of x will now become the numerator which is negative 5 on x squared plus 4 divided by 9x squared plus 16x squared plus what? 4. Fast forward, let's maintain, I think it's, yeah, is it 5 or 5x squared? It's 5x squared. So, because this is 1x squared and 4x squared. So, if I move this negative 5x squared divided by x squared plus 4, this will now become multiplication. Then we flip the second fraction as x squared plus 4, 9x squared plus what? 16. We can see this, we'll cancel this, leaving only this numerator and this as a final answer. Can I still get a space here? negative 5x squared divided by, since this is cancelling this, you should be left with 9x squared plus what? 16. I don't know if there is any common factor in there. If it would be negative, the down would have been a difference of 2 squared. But since it's not negative, I think our final answer will now be minus 5x divide, x squared divided by 9x squared plus what? Uh, 16. If we think of expanding this, let us know in the comment section how you can expand that further. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and come back for question 12.